Sports from where you live. Highlights from where you live, too. We are back on the Friday Night Frenzy, Peter. October skies, clear weather again. You just can't beat those Indiana Friday nights. Oh, you are absolutely right about that. And here's another thing that's hard to beat. The Carroll football team. The Cougars are 6-1. and one. They're looking to spoil a home game at Clinton Prairie. J.D., give us those highlights. All right, let's head to the highlights. So to Clinton County we go. We're going to stay here for a while. C.P. welcoming 6-1 and one Carroll, who's been red hot all season. It's the third frame. Cougar football. Richardson looking, can't find anything. He'll tuck and run. That's good for the first down, but no points. So give the ball back to the home team. Still third frame, still 14 to 12 CP. Drew Glacker looking for his man, finds it in Kalen Mullendorf. He stumbles in for the first down before following a nice gain. The Clinton County Airport, Pete, open for business. Like Blacker that. dropping back to pass again, finding Jevin Dean. He slides down for a first down, so move those chains. And you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Blacker to the sky. Seth Whitlock, the receiver, able to skirt this defense until the legs are swiped. 14 to 12, the final. Clinton Prairie is back above 500 at four and three. Alrighty, now let's head on out to Clinton Central Junior Senior High School. They're hosting the Delphi Oracles. And Delphi's got the ball. Cooper Kinsler tries right side. He's got just enough for the first down, but nothing more. Later on, it's Clinton Central on the attack. Leo De DeLeon keeps it. He's also going to try right side. First down, Benton Central. And they would keep on marching. Same possession, same guy. DeLeon, all the time and space in the world. Look at that big old hole. He's going to slide his way into the end zone here. Look at that. Woo! A easy 7-0 lead. But don't be fooled because this game would go into triple overtime. The Oracles would come out on top. 34-26. All right, the final game of the night is at the yard with Frankfurt Hot Dogs hosting North Montgomery on senior night. Wet field conditions mean keep it on the ground. Sam Michael in for the touchdown. No better feeling than scoring like that on your senior night. Chargers elect to do the same. Keep the ground game going. Austin Sulk, a great carry through middle, but Pete, you got to hang on to those. Ball pops loose. And Frankfurt recovers. Dogs in the lead at halftime, but this North Montgomery team comes charging back in the second half as their mascot implies. 22 to 12, the final score of Hot Dogs with one last chance this regular season against Crawfordsville on Friday. And all right, let's head east to Muncie Central. Why have we been blasting Blind Melon in the sports office? Because McCutcheon picked up its first win of the season. 17 to 7 the final in an NCCW over Muncie Central. And Owen Smith to Cam Little touchdown pass seals the deal for the now 1 and 6 Mavs. Yeah, add a W to that left column. McCutcheon to close up the regular season at Marion next week. Peter, I can't believe it. I'm so happy for McCutcheon. But how about those Mavericks? You know, it's better late than never to get that first win, and guess what? They could double it next week. Yeah, you are absolutely right, but that does it for the high school highlight portion of our show. We've got so much more for you on the Friday Night Frenzy coming up after this short timeout. It's Big Ten Media Day in Indy. Sports 18's Bree Shackelford has updates from the men's and women's basketball team. That's next. Stick with